So I've got a sense of my vocation, and maybe you're on the way to understanding yours. Before I sit down, though, there's one thing else I want to say about embracing God's will. It's important when we talk about embracing God's will to think about what we should be doing, what our vocation is. It's equally important to think about who we are supposed to be. There's no mystery when it comes to God's will, when it comes to who we're supposed to be. Think about a verse like Romans 12 too. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? Don't be conformed to the world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you can test and approve what God's will is, what's good, pleasing, and perfect. God wants us as his people to be like Christ. Friends, if you don't remember anything I say today, remember that. And here's why. It seems like we're always these days waiting to hear, whether it's next week or next month, we're waiting to hear the next story about somebody who was spectacularly gifted, but who was also an equally spectacular failure personally. We seem to hear these stories over and over and over again. Incredibly gifted people, incredibly horrific in their failures. Friends, I'm not a mind reader. I don't know what's going on in your lives, but I can tell you this. Just based on the odds, looking at all of you, looking at all of you, just based on the odds, some of you, if you don't start moving in this direction now, you're next. You're the next story. Because the thing is, we only hear about the ones that make the news. But they're happening all the time. All the time. Train wrecks everywhere. You've probably seen some of, some of them. It's so important to think about who you are as well as what God wants you to do. Because you can know what God wants you to do. But if you're not being who God wants you to be, you don't quite have it together with this business of embracing God's will. What God says to all of us today is, I'm reaching out my hand to you. I want you to take my hand. Come on and walk with me. I want you to walk with me and I'll show you what your vocation is and I'll make you into somebody. His hand is right here. And if you take his hand, I'm not going to tell you that's always going to be easy. It's not. But what I can tell you this, I look at all of you and I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that you'll heed God's word, you'll heed the voice of the Spirit, and you say, if you've never said it before or wherever you are now, you say, I'm going to take God's hand and I'm going to walk with him. And I'm going to go step by step by step by step because I'm going to believe him that he's going to show me what to do and he's going to show me who to be. Will you pray with me? Lord, I thank you that there are some aspects of your will that are abundantly clear to us. There's a lot that's not. But one thing that is true is you stretch out your hand to us and you say, come on, let's walk together. Lord, it's not always easy to do that. There are other voices, voices of unbelief, voices of fear, so many things that can distract us from walking with you. Yet if we walk with you, we will truly have the life that you have for us. Living out our vocation and living out lives as people of godly character. 
Lord, help us to be those people. Help us to be the counterexamples to all the train wrecks we've seen. Help us, Lord, to be those who truly embrace your will. Please stand. I want to say a word of benediction before you go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you 